Howdy everyone and welcome back to Rising Storm 2. It's been a while since I've played the game. Uh, I was gone for a while, I got really busy, some other stuff came up and uh, honestly, without trying to say that this game isn't as great as RO2 and Rising Storm, which I think this game and Rising Storm is probably as good as Rising Storm 1 and RO2 were, but there's just something in or about, wow, oh my god, in or about this game that I'm having a real hard, like, real hard time with. I just can't explain what it is, like, there's something about this game that I don't like as much. Maybe I'm just really addicted to the World War II setting? Honestly, I can't Elf tell you. Um, I just know that I wasn't really inclined to play this game as much as I, you know, feel inclined to play RO2 Rising Storm 1. Um, however, I figured some stuff has happened, some patches have come up. Um, there's a guy right... Elf is being attacked. God damn it. I guess that's not really helping. Uh, random helicopters uh, flying over. Um, and gacking you. Anyway, uh, we're playing on a custom server, by the way, or a custom map server. Uh, the IP should be here. Or this is the IP, this is the name, the Bloodbath server. They're running custom maps, at least one of them is. I know there's multiple Bloodbath servers, and one of them is running custom servers, or custom maps for sure. Uh, which I really like. The only downside is you have to download every time. So, well, you have to download the custom maps they play, so I just had, I just spent about a minute and a half downloading the custom map, and that's why there's actually 64 people on the server, but most of them are probably still downloading the actual map that we're playing on right now. Um, but luckily I have very fast internet, so it only took me a cup, like, you know, a minute, maybe a minute and a half at the very most. Um, but what I want to talk about in today's video, uh, besides just hopefully shooting some Americans with my SKS, um, is that uh, Tripwire announced a... I'm not sure if it's DLC. I actually don't, didn't read it that, uh, that good. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be added freely to the game, although don't take my word for that when I say that. Uh, that's a kill right there. Uh, they're going to be adding the Australians as a faction in multiplayer, which means they'll have, oh fuck, their own customization options I'm assuming, um, they'll have their own, uh, I saw some hats already, oh, okay, let's go right through the thing, I saw some hats, uh, at least three new maps, and they're going to be giving those maps all game modes as well, I think initially they'll just have one game mode, and then they're going to work supremacy and, and territories, and, and maybe even skirmish on those maps, so, only three maps coming, but then, you know, with all the custom maps, this is, for example, a custom map, and the custom maps have been just, honestly, most of them have been pretty damn amazing. The way that some people can make maps, like with tunnels and stuff, is out of my mind how they do it, but it's insane. They're really, really good. Uh, do we have to defend C? now? we have to defend B first. But, uh, yeah, so a new map, or new maps, a new faction, I should probably go offline on Steam, my ap apologies. Um... Uh, so yeah, like a new faction, couple new maps, hopefully new game modes on, or all different game modes on those new maps. So the instead of having just three maps, it'll feel like six maps. Um, and then a couple of new weapons for. Oh, there's a guy like right here somewhere. I think I just heard a shot. I mean, that was an American I was shooting at, but we have lost Bravo. This guy with an M16 right here. Oh, he's dead. Oh damn it! Anyway, so they're adding a couple of new weapons. I can't remember all of them at the top of my head, but I'm going to try and list all of them as far as I remember. So we have the Browning High Power Pistol. The, I think it's the L1 SMG, which is kind of like a, a Sterling, but it was for the Australians. The Owen SMG, which is the one that Dave Infamy uh, added a couple of uh, patches ago, which is like basically a Sten gun, but it has, I don't care, no. Uh, but it has the mag... On top, so it's a vertical magazine. Um, the L1 A1 SLR, which is basically an FL, an FNL foul, um, and the L2, I think it is called, which the L2 is the automatic version of the L1 A1, uh, as far as the Steam, the Steam page informed me about that. So honestly, I'm pretty damn excited to be playing. Uh, with the Australians. I don't know when they're coming out. I think they said maybe two, three months from now was when they said the release might be. Oh. And this guy is annoying. I probably shouldn't have been shooting at the chopper, but... Um, so I'm pretty excited, especially because I love 
We have a lost uh, Charlie. <laughs> There's something about the M16 and the AK that I really hate. It's hard for me to explain, I just cannot get used to them. That's why I love using the SKS, that's why I love using the M14. Uh, you know, just having a single shot, well, I mean, semi-automatic, but you know, it's a one shot. There's no automatic stance or no automatic version of the Delta M14 or the Atlanta. SKS, but like having that one shot ability, doing a ton of damage with a big round is still my favorite thing to do. And the AK is just not accurate enough. I really love, I really love using the semi-auto rifles in this game. So having another semi-auto rifle like the L1 is pretty awesome and I'm actually pretty excited for that. Now, I gotta find the Americans here on Delta. Is he in here? Okay, he's dead. Okay, we're ca decapturing it, good. Oh god. No, no, we're not decapturing at all. Shit. Oh, come on, we're not losing this that quickly. That's what I thought. Oh, there's more Americans in here than just that one. Fuck. That sucks. Delta's gone. Oh shit, he's got a window. Scout, reporting. Got him. No! Ah! Oh! I quick scope. I quick scoped him, but he still got me. Um. Yeah. Anyway, I'm like I said. I I really like semi-automatic rifles. So getting a new one, definitely something I'm really excited for. Uh, and just getting you know some new maps, very welcome. Because besides the fact that I think the custom maps are really good, um, obviously you know not every server runs them and. You know, you cannot expect for these custom map servers to always be filled. So I'm really excited to see some like more official maps coming in and being added to the game. Especially, you know, with the switching game modes from territories and supremacy. And just having a couple new weapons to deal with will be, will be really interesting. Although, personally, what I'm pretty sure they'll do is they'll include uh, the new maps. And then the Australians will only be playable on those three maps. Uh, it's like you cannot just pick your Australian soldier or your Australian weapons when you're playing as the Americans because that wouldn't make any because sense. Because they're being attacked. Uh, where the fuck? There's, 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 there's a guy out here somewhere. Oh, and I got sniped. 25 meters, damn it. Alright, well, we'll try that again. Um, We are getting wrecked really bad. Like, really, really bad. We have a lost eco. Oh, well, we're gonna lose. We need to. I need to go to F again. But I really like crossing this river. The chopper is destroying us, man. You know, stuck, and I'm gonna bleed out. Okay. Well, the chopper is absolutely wrecking us. How many kills does the guy have? Killer DB. He only got 11 kills. Actually, it's not too bad. I have like seven. Alright, we're gonna make our way to F though. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Foxroy is they being attacked. Got him. Now crossing this river here. Okay, that's the guy who killed me last time. Let's just do this. I love so there's a there's a free weekend going on right now. It's Sunday and it's the last day of the free weekend, and a lot of people aren't really sure how to play. So one guy just said, "Hold T and go towards where the big letters are and defend that." That's it's not wrong. It's pretty accurate actually. What you have to do. So we're losing F. Um, trying to get on this. Shit. Oh. Okay, I just saw a guy kill someone, and now there's more friendlies here, so we just have to deal with... Oh god, oh my god, if my gun was up, guy was guy would have been dead. Guy was toast. The only thing, only reason I didn't have my gun up, or the only thing I didn't kill him is because I didn't have my gun up, or he would have been dead. But yeah, no, I, like I said, I was excited. I'm excited to see the new faction and new maps, and especially get new guns, because uh, there's actually a couple of guns, the KP-50... I think, which looks really, really interesting. And it's kind of a shame, honestly, that they didn't put that in. I think that's a Vietnamese gun. I saw some on um, 
I saw like a video on, or like a documentary on the Vietnam War. One of the weapons was the KP-50 or something along those lines. It just looked really cool. And it's a giant shame to me that it's not in the uh, in the game. I think the chopper is landing for some ammo or repairs. Doesn't look like a place where people really run on from. But it does give me a shot at the helicopter if they do come out of their hiding spots. We can go up to a thousand meters. It's probably way too much. We're never going to hit that chopper at that range. But I'm going to sit here for a little bit and kind of figure out what I'm going to do. Might might go here. The thing is, this is no, it's not out of bounds actually. You can actually just run here. Why don't we just go here then? Is this out of bounds? I don't think so. Okay, we can jump over these. It's kind of frustrating. Definitely don't want to shoot at that right now. That thing is going to wreck you. I'm trying to flank the, un the units, to flank the infantry that's trying to go on to F. And Solaire Brolaire just destroyed my face. I do like that when you get headshot, your screen just goes black and you're like, oh, you're dead. Um, Report in. We have to hold F. But we got wrecked there, man. Uh, of course, some maps are more balanced than others. Of course, on some maps, some people will play better or people decide to play in a specific team. I've noticed on some maps, the um, Free Weekend players really like playing as the Americans and then the Americans did horrible. And maybe right now they're playing on a Vietnamese and the are doing horrible. It's not saying, you know, oh my god, filthy casuals. But I'm just saying, like, you know, there's obviously a difference between... Did I, am I running the wrong way? I might be running the wrong way. There's obviously a difference between someone who has played the game before and someone who's never played the game. Please don't tell me. Okay, I was about to say I went the wrong way, but I didn't. I just have to run a very long time. Luckily, there's no, like, I'm being tired, or I'm tired, uh, like, thing. Like, there's no, like, sprint bar. Although I did have people explain to me that, yes, you might not get tired as a physical, like, well, visible thing on screen. But you'll definitely have less accuracy and stuff after sprinting for, let's say, two minutes than if you've been sprinting for about five seconds. Oh, I hear some heavy guns. I really want to... I've done it before. I really want to snipe out either a gun or a pilot of that thing. But there's an M60 gunner over here, it sounds like. That might have actually been an RP, RPD. Can I not jump up here? Damn it. For one second, I thought I got him. I would have been really... Oh! Damn it, I saw him. I saw him in the corner of my eye. Well, we're probably going to lose Foxtrot. Oh, we did lose Foxtrot. So now we just have two objectives. We have, we have a H and G. Uh, probably going to have to hold H here. And that's going to be our last objective. Well, not... Hmm... Well, I mean, I did get to talk about uh, Australia, and honestly, if we get if we get wrecked this round, and we just get absolutely, like, destroyed, I'll just play that around. I don't care. I mean, it's fun, but, like, the what I said about this game is still true for me. I still like World War II more, I guess, and that's just, like, something I'm definitely noticing when playing this game. Um, I like this game. It's, it's, it's not bad. But if I could choose between RO2 or this game... I would probably pick RO2, but I wanted to play this game and talk about, like I said, talk about the Australians, but... Why, they, why is this chopper shooting up there? His own friendlies. I'm gonna assume those guys are enemies. Reload. Please. I got him! I got the, I got the gunner! Woo! Finally. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited about that. I was really, really trying very hard to get the pilot out of that thing. Maybe too hard. At this point, wow, man. Am I that bad? I guess he was firing, it looked like he was almost like firing like bursts or whatever, but. Okay, well, second chance. Pretty annoyed, because I thought I was doing pretty well. Oh, well, at least I felt... It's not the guy at the chopper, so that's not the worst thing I could have done. But now we're going to have to make our way to H for real and stop being stupid. Although I'm really annoyed that I didn't actually kill... Oh, God, that's bad. 
I really wanted to kill those guys on the opposite bank. Somehow, I guess... I get, to be fair, I had it range to like 2, 300 meters, and there was only 127 when the guy killed me, so that's my fat and that's my bad for ranging it wrong. I'm gonna have to wait for this artillery barrage to be over, because I don't want to move in there and be turned into absolutely nothing. I guess we can move up slowly. Scout, report in. Use the recon while we're ready for artillery anyway. Let's use the recon for a second. Oh, okay. so let's use the recon for a second. Or at least we did call on recon, so it should be recon on the map. I'm waiting. Maybe not. Weird. Well, we can run forward. Maybe we can watch the bridge. There was an American right there. I didn't want to fire. I was hoping he would go across the bridge. Really, I was really trying to get the pilot out of there, as you could see, or at least one of them. The gun or the pilot, I'll take either. Oh, that was actually a good shot. That was a headshot on that guy. That was a squad wipe right there, boys. Holy balls. That was awesome. Someone doesn't like me being here. Pretty sure that was meant for me. But... Stand. Don't surrender. Okay, well, I might have to go inside and defend this now. Ah, damn it. Oh, well, like I said, I squad wiped those guys. <laughs> I killed the chopper gunner. And we talked about Australia. So I got all of my stuff done within... Oh, my God, why? I guess this is the only place you can go here, but it's like there's so many friendlies over here and they're all just jerking their gurks. Oh my god. What's over here? I've never even been here. Let, let, let's, fight, let's find out and die. Oh, it's not that bad over here, I guess. Let's gotta get into H somehow. You suck. Sorry. Guy looked like a Vietnamese guy. He was like black. Or at least, not this character model, but his clothing looked to be black. I should be able to flank some guys here, probably. Like that guy. But that wasn't. He, he probably actually flanked some enemy guys and friendlies. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we'll just play another round. Um, but at least I got to talk about some stuff. And I got that squad wipe. And I showed the guys I had the chopper. So we'll be just the. Uh, we'll just be right back. All right, so we're playing yet another custom map. I had to quickly load in. It took me about 30-ish seconds, even though the map size uh, was bigger than the last custom map, and it took Bravo me about a minute to get that attacked. one. Um, again, playing with the SKS and playing on defense as a Vietnamese. Now, we just have to find our way to be... And actually defend because our team is just jerking off. They're not really like doing anything useful. I guess we killed the guy on B. Though a recon would be very nice. Sh shots are close. Bravo is being attacked. I hit him. Did I get both of them? No. Stay the fuck down. Oh, she just got running right there. Bravo is being attacked. What the fuck? Okay, that was really lucky. I think it just got two over there. Got six kills somehow. Maybe the grenade got two as well. Dude, if I didn't cancel that reload. Would have been pretty dead, I'm pretty sure. The thing is, we're gonna fucking have team. lost travel. Come on, guys. Like, 
No one, no one's defending. I can hear you guys are very close to me. Let's put my bayonet on. They're going to D and C. Let's sit here for another like 10 seconds. Delta is being attacked. Did I just get all three of those? I did. That's bruh. I played against him. Or with him actually like, like once or twice. Uh, I don't see anything bad in doing this. We have a lost Although, I guess I'm not defending myself right now, so I can probably go out here and go defend. Oh, he's, he's not gonna like that. Let's probably go and attack Delta now. talk at the same time I know if I start talking I'll do worse so if I just shut up and act like I'm really concentrated you guys won't mind we are taking down top ah damn it it was the M60 guy well hey I walked away with 12 kills uh, right off the bat so it's a good start now oh, this map looks pretty insane actually now I just gotta defend C all right, we gotta get C locked down. I suppose a couple of guys marked. Oh, oh, there goes the flames. Ow, 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 ow. oh god. Charlie is being attacked. Take cover. Charles we are taking cap. Delta. I feel bad. I feel really bad. I was kind of just stuck in the water there. The tunnel isn't the best place to spawn. We're losing, we're capturing D. We have a lost Charlie. Ah, we lost it. Now we have to hold E by itself. Come on, come on, come on. Spawn, 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 spawn. And there we go, okay, 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 okay. Uh, we're gonna defend the approach from C. I'm gonna put this bayonet back on because I was actually doing pretty decent with it. Maybe, I think obviously the bayonet might give you more this way though. Fuck. Oh, uh, guys, might want to defend E. Plez. There's uh, there was about a billion people going towards E. Um, that was something. I saw one guy, didn't think it was too bad, and then I look around the corridor. And then suddenly there's, I don't know how many guns. He goes being attacked. Walking around, oh my god. Scout. It was funny, it was really funny, but I got wrecked. Oh my god, look at that! Yeah! This is bad, what am I doing? Oh, come on. I don't know. If, I don't know if anyone saw that. The first shots were horrible, but then I moved into the window and it forced me, like, it kind of forced me off, which is really frustrating. That was really frustrating. It kind of forced me off target, and that was really annoying. All right, well, we're going to have to defend the coast of village. This is, a, this is a really cool part of this map. Like, this is pretty damn awesome. I just wish that. Uh, the game would last longer because with all these people joining, not really. Well, I mean, the first.
first time, to be fair, okay, I didn't defend Delta. I tried to defend the first objectives. Then I defended it by killing people, which I guess is technically defending something too, if you're killing people on something, right? If you're killing people that like, cannot capture something else. down. This village sucks. There's no cover anywhere. Like, no hard cover. I just heard a grenade. Yep. Let's try and sneak our way through this tall grass or tall reed. Reed? Reed, I think. Too, actually. So I can feel better about myself that I actually threw my grenade ones. My grenade ones. The urethra paper cut just killed three people. That's a horrible name. That gives me anxiety saying that out loud. Ugh, that makes me feel really awkward. Oh shit. Okay, where are you bishes at? So I just have to stop moving. There we go, now we're kind of flushed again. It's 24 to 25, 26. I am constantly reloading because it makes me feel better. Oh! I heard him! Damn it, I heard him. I heard him sneak up, well, not sneak up to me. He didn't know I fuck I was there. But I heard him running up to me and I was like, you're mine. Why does this guy keep being AFK or whatever? Is this guy doing anything? He's just like walking around. I see, this is the first time I see this guy. Well, maybe it's just a different person every time, but. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's go. Oh, Christ. He, this guy has found out where to hit with the- Kofi is being attacked. He just did. And that plane's probably gonna suck all the life out of is a thing at Well, it was nice while it lasted. Oh, 140 meter kill. That's a, that's actually a pretty good shot in my case myself. The thing is right now, I can't really move up because that plane is watching the bridge. We're stuck to just sitting here. Oh, that's okay, it's time for me to run right now, right? We have a lost zone. Hello? The reload, the reload is so long! Oh my god. Okay, the plane got me anyway, so. I guess I got wrecked, but. Man, that is uh That's definitely a thing though. This map is not bad. I just wish that we had a bigger player number in the beginning, because this is a pretty big map. So like defending everything at the same time with like eight or ten people was really hard. Um whereas they just for some reason well our team just kinda just jerked our girks and didn't really care too Scout much about reporting. defending the actual objective. I mean then again I didn't cap I didn't defend D. I'm very much aware of this, but at least I tried to defend uh, the initial spots, and then of course G and stuff. For one second, I thought that tray popped in and it was a player. This 
This is a really cool map, actually. It just feels really nice with the water and all the trees and there's actually like foliage you can hide in. No! How? He survived at least a second shot. I think he survived. I think he survived two shots. I'm not sure about the second one. I really want to say this guy survived at least one shot. But, hey, I sat there. I flanked four or five guys. So, that was at least a really cool flank. And I'm definitely going to go back there. You know, I think there's Americans marked just there. Yeah, they're already shooting me. Well... That's the downside of the SKS. You only get 10 rounds. And for some reason, the reload is so, like, heartbreaking long on it. Like, I get it. It's, like, it's probably historical, realistic. But the reload is, like, you know, let's fire around. Let's see. 21. 21. 21. Well, it's probably about a five-second reload. Also, that was a good napalm. Napalm. Napalm, sorry, not napalm. Oh shit, I cannot speak into English. Well, that was a good napalm, but like this five second reload time, man, that's a lot for a round gun. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Sorry. He's probably not gonna forgive me for that. Oh, he did say. Foxroy is no being attacked. I'll take the assist. But yeah, every time, like right now, I kind of just feel like I have to actually reload, even if I'm back like right here. That was a hit. That was a kill. One guy's at least. Oh, oh, damn it. M14. I would love the M14. On this map on the fence, M14 would be. Woof. Okay, so now we're totally off the H. We marker. have a lost okay, uh, We are getting wrecked. The guy said no problem, and I said the TK penalty because he didn't actually. There's Americans right there. Hey, 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 hey. I'm punching my screen. This guy's waking the fuck up. Oh, my God. Sometimes, man. I don't know, why am I seeing- this almost a level 63 and he's his AFK. I mean, if you're gonna go AFK, it's fucking- let's go spectator. But I want my cool class and I don't want anyone else to have it. If I had a sniper, I would totally go up in there. That looks... really cool. Also, the first place I would look if I was looking for a sniper after being killed by him maybe once. But, hey, same goes for this tunnel. What? Oh god! And I was just putting up my bayonet. I tapped control, figuring out in my brain, like, hey, there's Americans right here. Well, my voice cracked. Here, they must be, you know, trying to get into the objective. So why don't I just put my bayonet up and I'll try and defend. And when I'm about to do that, I'm like, shit, 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 cancel, cancel, cancel. And even that wasn't in time. Fuck, oh, man. All right, let's try that again. Although I really don't want to hang out inside. Is there a guy in here? I don't really want to hang out inside a. It's like a bad place to be. Probably, oh, shit. 35 meters. Damn it, hurts. Well. Oh, maybe I should have taken a shot from this dead. I really don't play it. I really want to play the American pump action now. It's probably weird. But... This would be a good map. Flank around, kind of just figure out a good place to attack from, and then you just go there every time. It's American, right? yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, flaringly. I don't know why I said American. Last stand. Don't surrender. All right. Well, let's load up the bayonet. In English, but sure. Oh, 
all the frags. Hopefully that didn't kill any friendlies, because uh, that'd be that'd be bad. Gonna kill an enemy. Fuck! There's a guy to my left. There has to be. Mac rap, Mac rap, chicken and bacon. That's a pizza name. Damn it, man. I do a lot of kills. I didn't, didn't do that bad. Looking at, I'm like number number two on the team and like number four on the server. So, not too bad. Could could be worse. Wish that there wasn't a shotgun or inside the objective. He's probably below the stairs. And by stairs, I mean like below this like ladder thing you jump in. Or like thing you jump in. He's probably like right below it, isn't he? Like over here, maybe. My rear left nipple. Interesting man. He's got fucking frag. Don't tell me that landed in front of the fucking thing. Don't tell me it landed right here. It didn't. Oh, thank god. Oh, there is guys right here. So, that's what I thought. How did that grenade? Well, there's an easy way to deal- Whoa, there's an easy way to deal with that. Just get on where this guy is and throw a grenade. He must have seen him right now. I just saw his head! Like, right there! I'm promoted to squad leader? I don't know that. Why am I in a two-man team? I'm just going this game because it might actually have a tunnel set up. That was the perfect frag, and then there's a sniper on the left side. The guy, same guy I killed earlier. Oh, clearing this out or holding it. This guy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Screw it. Oh, I'm gonna play the Mosin PU. Screw it. We'll do it. I, I feel very not. Com I feel very not confident. So it's good time to snipe right now, right? Why? No, no. What's the button again for that? Six? I think it's six. Or is it? What is the button for that? Um, Last stand. What, what, is, what is the button in? Oh, maybe it's like. No, nope. I don't remember the number to switch. It always used to be six. I have no clue what the number would be. You know what? Screw it. Let's try this shit. Fuck. <laughs> okay, well, that was my own fault. I actually almost made it. Last stand! Don't surrender! But what is the button to switch sights? What was it? F? Control? C? You know, control is the bait, isn't it? So it's not that. It's not T. Maybe it's X. Yeah, it's X. That makes sense. Switch ammo. Ooh, fuck! Okay, I'm gonna stop being stupid. We have that been be defeated. Ah, uh, okay, well, I guess it's, I am gonna stop being stupid because the game's over. So. I really want to get back into Rising Storm 2 and playing it more. Uh, definitely had great fun. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I definitely look forward to playing more, like I said. But for now, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope drop a like if you liked it, and we'll love to see you in the next one. Cheers.